On October 27, 2024, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius announced a groundbreaking initiative to develop an advanced version of the Taurus cruise missile, named the Taurus Neo. This ambitious project, involving the acquisition of 600 new missiles, is driven by Ukraine's urgent calls for long-range weaponry to counter escalating Russian attacks on its territory. The decision to modernize the Taurus missile system underscores Germany's commitment to enhancing its military capabilities and reinforcing its strategic position amid a rapidly changing geopolitical landscape. The Taurus Neo project aims to improve upon the existing Taurus KPD-350 cruise missile, with plans for significant upgrades. Parliamentary sources indicate that the enhancements will focus on increasing range, improving accuracy, and augmenting explosive power. The total cost for this project is estimated at approximately 2.1 billion euros, with initial deliveries expected by 2029. To kickstart the development, an initial funding allocation of 350 million euros is slated for 2025, while the majority of the budget will be earmarked for expenditures post-2029. The Taurus Neo is expected to feature a range exceeding 500 kilometers, enabling it to engage targets at greater distances with improved precision. Its guidance system will be modernized incorporating advanced inertial navigation and GPS correction technologies to enhance targeting accuracy, particularly on hard-to-reach objectives. Furthermore, the missile will likely be outfitted with a more powerful warhead designed to penetrate heavily fortified structures, such as bunkers or underground facilities. Innovations may also include technologies that help the missile evade radar and missile defense systems, bolstering its effectiveness against enemy air defenses. The impetus for the Taurus Neo project emerges from the heightened security concerns across Europe stemming from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Since the war's onset, Russia has ramped up its use of cruise missiles to target strategic and civilian infrastructures, highlighting Ukraine's pressing need for similar retaliatory capabilities. The United Kingdom and France have already stepped up support for Kiev by supplying long-range cruise missiles like the Storm Shadow and Scalp EG, which Ukrainian forces have effectively adapted for use with Soviet-era aircraft. These missiles utilize sophisticated guidance systems that combine GPS, inertial navigation, and infrared imaging IAR, to strike heavily defended targets such as ammunition depots, command centers, and logistical hubs situated deep within Russian-held territories. The Taurus KPD-350, with its impressive range and enhanced penetration capabilities, would further empower Ukraine to target critical infrastructures, particularly in Crimea. Unlike its counterparts, the Taurus missile is equipped with a dual-stage warhead specifically engineered to eliminate heavily fortified and deeply buried targets. The German armed forces currently maintain around 600 Taurus KPD-350 missiles, primarily launched from Tornado fighter jets. As the Tornado fleet nears retirement, questions arise regarding potential launch platforms for the Taurus Neo. The Eurofighter Yef-2000 is the most probable option, although integration with the F-35A, recently procured by Germany, seems unlikely without significant redesigns of the missile to fit the stealth fighter's internal bay. In the long term, there is potential for the Taurus Neo to be integrated within the SCTHEF, Future Combat Air System Framework, a collaborative next-generation fighter project involving France, Spain, and Belgium. The SCF program is anticipated to play a pivotal role in modernizing European air capabilities in the coming decades. The Taurus Neo project's implications for European defense are significant. As a long-range precision weapon, it could bolster Germany's deterrence capabilities and expand strategic options for collective defense across Europe. The modernization of Germany's armed forces is part of a broader effort to address new security threats exacerbated by the war in Ukraine and rising tensions with Russia. Nonetheless, funding remains a crucial hurdle for the Taurus Neo project. The German government must allocate the 350 million euros needed for initial development in the 2025 budget with future expenditures potentially influenced by ongoing budget constraints. However, government coalition support for the project suggests a positive outlook, despite potential parliamentary debates about prioritizing defense spending in a challenging economic climate. The Taurus Neo announcement follows closely behind a historic defense agreement between Germany and the United Kingdom, aimed at the rapid development of advanced long-range strike capabilities beyond the storm shadow. This agreement coincides with the UK's inclusion in the European Long Range Strike Approach, ELSA, an initiative led by France and involving Germany, Poland, and Italy. ELSA seeks to create a missile with a range between 1,000 and 2,000 kilometers by the 2030s. Although the integration of the Taurus Neo into these broader programs remains uncertain, 
The increasing interest in long-range strike weapons across Europe highlights the growing recognition of the need for enhanced deterrence and defense capabilities in light of emerging threats. The Taurus Neo project could thus play a vital role in reinforcing collective security efforts on the continent, while positioning Germany as a pivotal player in the development of next-generation defense technologies. The development of advanced cruise missiles like the Taurus KPD-350 represents a critical strategic asset for Western armed forces, particularly in modern conflicts where precision and long-range strike capabilities are paramount. For Ukraine, the provision of long-range missiles by allied nations has already demonstrated their effectiveness in targeting strategic military infrastructures behind enemy lines. With its extended range and reinforced penetration capabilities, the Taurus Neo would significantly enhance Ukraine's ability to strike at strategic sites within Russia or Crimea, thereby expanding the impact of Ukrainian operations and contributing to the broader effort of regional stability and security.